seated position. Just beginning to arrive. Breathe. Stay here and take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. One more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, look down. Inhale, chin up, look towards the sky. And at your own pace, just take a few more rounds on your own. And back to center. Roll over your shins and make your way down onto your belly. Have frog right side. Prop yourself up on your left forearm. Grab your right foot with your right hand and pull your right foot gently towards your outer hip. As you stretch the quad, press your left forearm into the mat to press your shoulder up, right? You don't want to sink into your shoulder. And just breathe and do what you can, whether you're grabbing with your hand or your forearm. And just breathe. And soften all the way down. Turn your head towards the left and relax. And other side, come onto your right forearm. Capture your left foot with your left hand and draw your left heel towards your outer hip. Feel the quad lengthen here and press the right forearm into the mat to lift the chest. And breathe. Keep pressing into the ground, stay lifted. Breathe. Soften back down as you exhale and turn your head towards the right side. Slowly bring the hands by your shoulders and press yourself up and have a seat. Do 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 do, however you get there. Left leg long. Right heel close to the glute. And place the hands behind you and walk back. As long as there is no pain or pressure into the knee, maybe you can recline back. Find a good stopping place on the hands or maybe the forearms or all the way down on your back. Progressions, okay? So breathe. Even if I am here, focus on you and where you are, whether it's on your elbows, your hands, or here, right? And just breathe. If you would like a deeper stretch, you can bring your left leg up to drop your right hip down and fully extend again. Breathe. Relax. Relax. Notice if you're holding any tension in the shoulders or your face. And if so, try to relax. Try to release that tension. Ooh. If you're like me and like the foot, if like this feels pressure on that, that toe, I like to use that foot and prop it up so the pressure of the ground won't hurt my, my bunion. <laughs> Just being transparent here, 
just right on that big toe. It kind of hurts. I use my arm to kind of lift it up a little bit more. Or a mat would help too. And other side, right leg out long. Bend your left knee, heel towards your glute. Then place the hands behind you and walk them back. Keep easing back as long as you don't feel anything in your knee. Wherever you feel a gentle stretch in the quad, that's a good place to stop and breathe, okay? And make your way down to where you're most comfortable. <sighs> Same thing with me and that bunion on my toe. <laughs> I'm going to lift my foot slightly and just cup it with my hand just to relieve that pressure from the ground in my foot. Just focus on your breath. I love this type of practice because it, it gives you patience with yourself and your body. Just stay with your breath and feel the quad lengthen. Just feel your body slowly release. Focusing on the quad, so if you're holding any tension either in your face or your shoulders, release it. You do not need to hold any energy in those areas. Release it. Patience. And unwind your leg and lay here on your back. And draw your right knee into your chest, left leg long. Take the knee to the left, extend your right arm to the right, and gaze right. Heavy the right shoulder into the ground as you twist, pressing that arm down. If you're wondering what's a good song or some good songs to listen to as you're um, in this practice with me, I definitely recommend listening to that new Andre 3000 album. It would be amazing for this one. That's what I'm listening to right now. Release the twist. Left knee up. Drape the left knee across your body and send the left arm out to the side. Gaze left. And this is just a preference, bringing my right hand to my left knee just to give myself that extra pull. But if that's too much, feel free to move that arm. Okay. We want to gaze left, anchoring down your left arm towards the ground. Release the twist and slowly bring both knees up to the chest. Take a final breath in. And exhale. Release the legs out long. Let, let the feet hang out long. Turn the palms up. And find stillness. Relax. For me and my Shavasana, I like to go into a recline butterfly. Does wonders for the hips. And just relax. Observe within yourself, observe within your body if you're holding any tension. Or feel that energy flow through your body. Notice if there's any tension 
in your body. And so you have the power and the ability to release it. Relax. Relax the neck. It is possible to find peace within yourself. Start to bring gentle movement back into your fingers and your toes. You may stay here for as long as you need. I'm going to come up and I would just like to thank you for allowing me to be a part of your self-care and I hope you found value in this practice. Please feel free to leave a comment how you felt or what you would like to see more or if you would like one more video. I make these videos this link to show you that there is time that you can make towards yourself and dedicate self-care to you. Okay, in the meantime, on your journey, please be kind to yourself and continue to love yourself through this journey. And remember, you can because you do, you do because you can, and if you don't, you won't. So just do what you can. One love. I know, I know, I know.